This video was sponsored by Skillshare. Check out the video description to learn more. I've been using the Xiaomi Redmi Note 6 Pro for the past couple of months because it's an awesome budget phone with great build quality, nice cameras, feature-packed user interface, and a lot more. As always, let's go through all the pros and cons of this device in my long-term review. Even though this is not a fresh review, let's take a look what you get inside the box. Besides all the usual items, you get a soft TPU case, which is always a welcome accessory. I have to tell you that I use the phone without a provided case, but I always take care of my phones, so the Note 6 Pro still looks as new. The metal build looks and feels nice, although the phone is prone to fingerprints. I also wish that the top and bottom portions of the device were built of metal, not plastic. Either way, the build quality is excellent, the buttons are still responsive, and the device held up very well over the time. Honestly, I keep forgetting that the phone uses a micro USB port, and there were quite a few times I tried to plug in the USB Type C cable. It's not a deal breaker though, and I'm not gonna rant about it. I didn't scratch the display, which is very good overall. The Note 6 Pro is one of those phones that I can unlock with my face, and this feature has been reliable most of the time. The fingerprint scanner is also really fast and accurate. One of the highlights of the phone is the dual camera setup that I will talk about in just a bit. On the front, we have another dual camera system that consists of 20 and 2 megapixel sensors for selfie portraits. Other key features include a headphone jack that provides good sound quality, LED notification light, a hybrid dual SIM and micro SD card slot, and IR blaster. Finally, the bottom firing speaker is really good. In fact, this is one of the best speakers in a budget phone as the sound is balanced and quite rich. Here is an audio sample. The Redmi Note 6 Pro ships with pretty much standard budget phone specs and the highlight is the Snapdragon 636 processor. Gaming performance is actually very good. I played most of the games on the highest graphics settings and the phone performs really well. The PUBG runs absolutely fine on medium graphics. Finally, the phone does not heat up to uncomfortable levels. The phone received quite a few software updates and now it runs on the MIUI 10 that is based on Android 8.1. Basically, this is yet another Xiaomi phone that has plenty of features and customization options in the UI I've talked about in many Xiaomi phone reviews. I like changing themes, transition effects, wallpapers, and so on. Overall, the Xiaomi Redmi Note 6 Pro is a very fast phone despite having a heavily customized skin. I've never had any lag or stutter while using the phone for quite a while. The main camera system can take very nice looking images with plenty of detail, nice colors, saturation and contrast. The AI usually brings more details to the shadows or makes the colors look more punchy. Both modes take one of the best pictures on a sub $200 phone. I'm also impressed with portrait shots as the subject or object is nicely separated from the background with just minimal or almost no artifacts. Low light image quality is also pretty good for a budget device even though some pictures are a bit noisy. Selfies look nice too as they are detailed and sharp. Selfie portrait shots also look great thanks to the dedicated depth sensor. 1080p video quality is actually one of the best you can get on any budget phone. It's very smooth and continuous autofocus work fine. The main complaints are that there is a bit of noise and lens flare, but you can have it all in a budget device. If you use open camera app, you can record 4K videos. However, you're going to lose image stabilization, so I suggest you sticking to 1080p and stock camera app. 1080p selfie video looks very good too. Here is a quick sample. As you can see, this is a handheld video. I'm not using any stabilization tools whatsoever, and today's lighting conditions are perfect. Today we have a 
sunny day but right now I'm in the shade so the video does not get blown out. As you may expect from Xiaomi, there are no connectivity issues. Signal reception and call quality are great, GPS is very accurate and there are quite a few sensors on board including a gyroscope. However, the phone lacks NFC. The phone has a huge 4000 mAh battery and the life of it really depends on how you use the device. If you use the Redmi Note 6 Pro quite intensively, you should expect to get about 8 hours of screen on time. If you use the phone just for the basic stuff, you should expect to get over 10 hours of SOT. Finally, it takes about 2 hours to fully charge the phone with a supply charger. After using the Xiaomi Redmi Note 6 Pro for the past couple of months, I can say it's still an awesome budget phone. Honestly, the only shortcomings are that the phone still uses a micro USB port and there is no NFC. Other than that, the phone looks quite premium and it held up very well over the time, the screen is sharp, the device is fast on a daily basis, it can handle most of the 3D games, cameras are great and the battery life is amazing. That's why I think that the Redmi Note 6 Pro is still one of the best budget phones you can buy. You simply get so much value for the price and therefore I can easily recommend it to anyone who is looking for a great phone but doesn't want to spend a fortune on it. Now the word from the sponsor of this video. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with thousands of creative, business, technology and lifestyle classes. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to high-quality classes from experts working in their fields so you can improve your skills, unlock new opportunities, and do the work you love. Skillshare is also more affordable than most learning platforms out there. An annual subscription is less than 10 bucks a month. You can also learn from anywhere, download the mobile app on Android or iPhone, and tap into classes even when you are offline. For example, I'm always looking to improve my video production and editing skills and Skillshare has plenty of classes both for beginners and advanced users. Another topic I'm interested in is of course technology. Each smartphone company including the Xiaomi brags about AI or artificial intelligence, which always sounds like a fancy yet a bit mysterious marketing slogan. There is a great class where Christian Hailman, a senior developer at Microsoft, explains machine learning in detail. I learned the ins and outs of how machines are processing our data, finding patterns and making our lives easier every day. I can highly recommend you this class, it's really interesting. Now the most important part. The first 500 people to use my link and get 2 months of Skillshare premium free. Then if you decide to keep using the service, it will cost you just 10 bucks per month. I've been using Skillshare for more than 1 month and I can highly recommend it to anyone. It's just an awesome platform to improve your knowledge and skills. Check out the video description, get 2 months of Skillshare premium for free and start learning. What do you think about the Xiaomi Redmi Note 6 Pro? Would you buy this budget phone or would you choose another budget option? As always, use the comment section down below, like the video if you liked it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on social media and as always, it was Linus, thank you for watching and see you soon.